an emergency broadcast. This is something that just came out today. It's urgent. It says, uh, this is from Rinse.com, posted at Godlike Productions, 61810. Uh, urgent radioactive oil from BP blowout. Now, this is serious. Uh, this is going to blow the roof off the scope of this disaster. This is why people are getting sick. This is why they are using Kodiak 9500 in such quantities. This is why they aren't many ships out there. The radioactivity is beyond safe levels. Remember, alas, Babylon, why you read. Let's first start with Eugene Island 330. The mystery of Eugene Island. Eugene Island is a submerged geographical feature like an underwater mountain 80 miles off the coast of Louisiana. The landscape is littered with deep fissures and faults which gush large amounts of oil and gas. A platform named Eugene Island 330 was producing 15,000 barrels of oil in the early 70s. By the late 80s, the flow has reduced to 4,000 barrels a day. Then suddenly, mysterious things happened. Production at the Eugene Island 330 suddenly jumped back to 13,000 barrels a day. The reserve was refilled just like that. It is estimated that the reserve went from 60 million barrels to 400 million barrels in a few days time. Something very strange is happening under the Gulf of Mexico. What happened at the Eugene Island supports the growing theory that oil is renewable from deep earth processes. But don't let the general population know this. This aids to explain why the Middle East oil fields seem to be inexhaustible. Scientists noticed oil chemical composition did not change as fossil records have changed. Many scientists now believe oil is not created by decomposing remains of life since areas of very different ecospheres are producing oil of equal composition. But there is much more to talk about. The new discoveries of deep oil. Something very dangerous lurks in the deep water horizon's oil spill. Keep in mind the reserve. Deep water was drawing happens to be the deepest offshore reserve to date. Also keep in mind how we learn oil is sourced from deep below the Earth's crust. Further down than mankind has been able to study and observe. Helium is naturally occurring gas formed in oil reserves. So common that helium detectors have been used to discover oil reserves. Helium is an inert gas known to be a byproduct from radiological decay of uranium and thorium. Uranium and thorium are known to be in great quantities at greater depths. Yes, radioactive elements occur naturally and can be found and detected in trace amounts in shallow oil reserves. Oil reserves that do not produce large amounts of methane also lack uranium and thorium. The presence of methane in proportional to the presence of uranium and thorium, both radioactive elements. Yes, you read that correctly. The more methane that is present reflects the amount of uranium and thorium in an oil reserve. The deeper the oil, the younger the radiological decay is that produced helium. The Eugene Island 330 rig was replenished, showing deep oil is resupplying the more shallow oil reserves of the Gulf of Mexico just off the coast of Louisiana. And it gives websites, right? So this is on rents. And you can find this. The energy coming from uranium and thorium decay is thought to be the most sufficient energy source inside the earth, Tolich said. So this is the thriving engine that things such as tectonic plate movements, volcanoes, and earthquakes. We are looking at we are looking for neutrinos, particularly electron antineutrinos, coming from uranium and thorium deep inside the earth. Uranium and thorium is distributed all through the earth and the mantle. One part in ten million of the earth's mass is thought to have been made of uranium and thorium. That is correct. <clears throat> that is a large field deep earth just off the coast of Louisiana. Does this ring a bell? give you the idea of the scope of the disaster yet? Deep earth oil is flooding the surface and is contaminated with uranium and thorium. During the Gulf War, the Gulf Syndrome is speculated to be caused by ex 
explosions of uranium and thorium from the wells opened up by Saddam Hussein. Similar symptoms of illness are now beginning to occur at Deepwater Horizon spill site and the resulting oil slick. It is my conclusion the oil from the deep water is deep earth oil with elevated levels of radioactivity from uranium and thorium that hasn't had the time to decay. Links to papers and he gives more links. Credit source to Godlike Productions and I will post this underneath my video down there and you will be able to get direct link to these links. I am now going now to cut off the transmission for now. This was an emergency broadcast. This could be serious. Radioactivity in the oil because it comes from such a depth. There's a lot of radioactive stuff in the oil. See the shallower ones like he said has a chance to decay. This didn't have a chance to decay so it's fresh radiation. Alright. I will get off here now. You be good. Be good at it. Be ready to move from, from the coastlines of the Gulf. If this gets out to be true and factual, you must be aware of this. If you have a Geiger counter, anyone down in the coast, if you have a Geiger counter, take samples of the oil if you can get it and radiology it. I saw the video and the guy was getting readings off a piece of a pipe they found on the beach that had oil on it. And he was getting readings and he said, yeah, the, the Geiger counter was calibrated. It has a little calibration thing on the side and I had it calibrated to make sure it was calibrated and zeroed out. And sure enough, he was getting radioactive material readings. It looked like five. It was going up as high as five on the, up to, from five to, to 10 or whatever it was set on the Geiger counter. I'm not sure what his setting was, but it was getting hits. It was showing radioactivity in the oil. So until next time, be good or be good at it. Be prepared. Be prepared to move. I fear for you people down on the ghost, co coastline at the Gulf because of what's going on down there. They're covering things up. They're hiding things. I've just read through several stories today where BP is hiding that they turn the people down in Grand Island. You can't talk to nobody. If you talk to reporters, you'll be arrested. Reporters or cameras are being detained and arrested if they're caught. Trying to get down to the coast and take a picture. This is an emergency broadcast. I end it now. Be good. Be good at it. This is Spellbinders News Report.